Oh, what's up? You caught me. So this is NBA 2K then, yeah? Yes, it is the, the launch party of the 2K21. On our team, I think there's one guy who can give me our own for the money, but I'm pretty good. You know who you're going up against today? Or? Yeah, I do. Her name is Angelina. I think she, she's a model as well. The 2K people telling me that I gotta, I gotta do some work. So today, I think today because it's I think two kinds of 2K coming out. The one's the Lillard and the other one's the Kobe edition. I think today I gotta use Lillard, which isn't bad. Might have, to, time. might have to do some dame time for him. I hope it doesn't have to get down to I hope I can blow him out by 30. I want to get down to that last second shot, but if I need to, I'll pull it out. Yeah, NBA thumb, thumb thumb thumb? Yeah. That's the pregame warm up? Pregame warm up. Every game. Okay. I got a switch also that I bring to most games. Last year I was playing Fortnite when it was hot. I play that before every game. Teammates are out there shooting and I'm playing Fortnite. It's the most important thing you gotta get your mind right. We were talking a little bit earlier about uh, you know 2021 plans for East Asia Super League. Yeah. And you and I know you saw the FIBA news. Yep. And you were part of the first ever tournament. Yep. You know when we were. OG. What do you think about the league kind of coming full circle and, and the plan to launch in 2021 with with eight teams? I hope that we can partake. I hope we can be one of the one of the eight teams to compete because playing that first Super League was really fun. I think it's always fun for us to compete against teams from other countries and just really experience different gameplay. So I think it's great that, you know, the East Asia Super League came full circle and I think it'll just make it that much more competitive and exciting. And I just think that being recognized by FIBA will bring that much more exposure worldwide to, you know, the Asian League, especially East Asia, because a lot of times we get put on the back burner. Bit nervous. Says so she was a champ last year, so cannot be embarrassed. It's pretty nice though. A little portable uh, screen. And I'm about to take this home. Yeah, you can put this on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> How'd the event go? Give us a quick recap. Smooth. I got my uh, butt kicked by a model, but she had an all-star team. I, I wouldn't even say it's an all-star team. They had the Hall of Fame, the Lakers Hall of Fame team, and they gave me the Blazers. It was really fun to be one of the first people to actually play in Taiwan, so I will have a little bit of an advantage on my teammates. You play 2K a lot and with the, the teammates, yeah? Yeah, I play with my teammates a lot, a lot of times before practice or after practice just to kind of relax and get our mind off of things and just play a game or two before I go home and either get my butt kicked or do the whooping myself. Yeah, they had me benching uh, 20 kg. It's almost a little bit embarrassing, but I was a little, I was also a little bit scared it was gonna be like 100 kg and I wouldn't be able to do it. So, and then they had the battle ropes. Those are always fun. I mean, because we we still do that when we train anyway, so we're all we're all used to it. So pretty fun. They always say baseball is Taiwan sport, but if you really look into it, basketball is Taiwan sport. Every outdoor court is taken when it comes to six, seven o'clock at night after kids are out of school, dinner's up. That's what people do. They just go to the courts and play ball. And obviously there's some really good competition when you get to more of the more famous courts. You got the YouTubers, you got celebrities playing ball. Just everyone's out here hooping. And hopefully, you know, we can inspire the younger generation to, I mean, not only just have a passion for basketball, but just if it's just to stay fit and get your exercise for the day, why not choose basketball? Your prediction 73 to 2 Blazers? <laughs>